I'm back in Songkla, there's the Gulf of Thailand just over there. The primary purpose is to watch a football game tonight. It's the final of the King's Cup between Thailand and Syria. I'll talk about that later. We're also going to stay in a hotel tonight. We're at the, the bed vacation, Racha Mangala. And two reasons for that. Uh, firstly, the, the traffic tonight after the game is going to be terrible. I don't want to be held up in a huge traffic jam, so it's easier just to stay the night. And it's also to give the wife and kids a little break. We haven't, we haven't stayed in the hotel for a while and they quite enjoy it. So I'll be taking a look, little look around the hotel and then later on the football game and anything else that we see in Songkla. Rachamangala is a university and I, I could be wrong here, but I, I think this hotel was opened to give students who are, are training to go into travel and tourism an opportunity to get work experience in a, in a real hotel. So it sort of serves two purposes. First purpose being a, a normal hotel and the second being a, a work experience place for students. It's quite big. Um, it's looking a bit worn, like the carpet here. Not, not many hotels in Thailand have carpets but this one's looking quite threadbare in places, probably needs replacing. And at the moment we've arrived quite early and can't get into our room yet. But um, I'll show you the room later on when we check in properly. And uh, the kids at the moment are playing in the swimming pool and water park. So let's go and take a look at that. This is quite a good hotel for kids, as we'll see in a few seconds. So here we've got quite a big lap pool for adults. It's not very wide, but it's quite long. Here we have the kids pool. And over here is a mini water park. I think you can use it if you're not staying at the hotel, but you need to pay. But if you're staying at the hotel, it's all free to use. And they're a bit strict about what kids can wear. There's signs up saying no t-shirts and no football shorts you've got to wear like a proper swimming costume but they are available to hire at the hotel 150 baht this football competition called the King's Cup is quite big in Thailand it's hosted in Thailand every year and people come from a long way to see the game when we were coming here this morning I saw some car license plates from provinces I don't normally see in this part of Thailand and consequently, uh, most of the hotels were fully booked. It was quite a job uh, finding a place, but I managed to get a couple of rooms here. I don't have an electric car, but if you do, the hotel has charging points in the car park. So at least you'll be able to charge your car to get home. I've noticed there's quite a few hotels in Thailand now that do have charging points. The rooms are not that big, but they have everything we need small bathroom, shower, and I normally try to get a family room. They weren't, there weren't any available, but that's maybe a good thing because the family rooms often just have one bathroom and one bathroom isn't enough for four people. So we've got two interconnecting rooms, which is perfect. So, you know, because of the, um, the door, we're all together and we've got two bathrooms, so. Yeah, it's really ideal for us. Another advantage of staying at the hotel is having the hotel car park. The, um, the traffic here is just terrible. There's a, a huge line of cars just stationary uh, going towards the, the stadium and there's just no parking either. Cars parked all along this road on both sides. So we're just walking from the hotel to get something to eat and I'm guessing we're going to do the same this evening when going to the, the game just no point trying to drive you're just going to be stuck in traffic and then there's going to be no parking spaces it's really busy here I've never seen it like this before and as soon as the football was finished they're gearing up for the Songkla Grand Prix it's a, a road circuit that's what this barrier is here for. This uh, metal barrier isn't usually here, but it's um, there in preparation for the road race. 
I dislike big crowds intensely, but sometimes you just can't avoid it. So the, um, the game between the losing semi-finalists is just about to kick off. On Friday, they had the semi-finals and Syria beat Tajikistan and Thailand beat Philippines. So Tajikistan and Philippines are just about to play for third place. And then the final will be this evening between Thailand and Syria. I wasn't sure if there were scalpers in Thailand, but there are, as there, as there are everywhere else. And the scalpers are selling 300 baht tickets for 1,500. So a five times markup. And they'll probably sell them because there's loads of people arriving. These big sporting events in Thailand are the same as anywhere else. They're selling shirts and souvenirs outside at quite high prices actually. So I think the, the profit will be immense. I think these guys are having a very good day today. And it looks like the, uh, the Thailand team coach just turned up. So everyone's gone forward to try and see the players. The last time I was here was to watch the charity shield between Buri Ram in Thailand and Kelantan in Malaysia. And the stadium wasn't full, there were big empty sections. Today's the opposite, there's just too many people here. We had to go through security and they're not allowing anyone with food or drink. So there's a big table with lots of confiscated drinks. And my wife just bought a big bag of fruit outside. We haven't eaten any yet and they confiscated it. This is, this is absolutely nuts. There's so many people. My wife also has some <coughs> snacks and drinks in her bag and they've, they've confiscated all of those. So now we can't get a drink inside. Uh, I thought the Tajikistan Philippines game is finished, but what we just saw was the, the last few minutes of that game. So the big one's up next. Um, we've managed to find seats and we've even found four seats together. And I've, I'm thirsty and I'm quite annoyed that they've confiscated all of our food and drink. I can understand if it's glass bottles, but plastic bottles, I don't really see the problem. So now I've got to sit here for well, 6.30, 6 so what, three and a half hours without a drink. Great. The King's Cup has been running since 1968. So 56 years ago, uh, it's, it's been played most years, a few years it hasn't. I think this is the 50th time it's been played. So it's always hosted in Thailand. It's just four teams and Thailand are, are always in it. So there's three, three other teams by invitation uh, from all over the world. And they, they have um, guest players and guest teams. And I believe that uh, Peter Schmeichel, the old menu goalkeeper, has played in this competition before. And it's, um, it's played somewhere in Thailand, and I, I think this is the first time it's been played at this stadium in Songkhla. Thailand have won it the most times, of course, because Thailand play in every competition, and the other teams don't. And I think Thailand have won it about 15 times. I'm not sure if this is a power cut, or they've turned off the light so people can light their candles. There's all little, little lights in the crowd. Oh no, there's some um, mobile phone lights. And I am gasping. I really need a drink, and they've confiscated all our drinks because we can't bring bottles in. So I'm now going to go and see if I can find some drinks in plastic cups, which are allowed in. The Thai national team have just come out to warm up. They've got a a cheer and a round of applause. But the atmosphere is very different compared to the UK when I used to go and watch West Ham quite regularly. There's no, no chants, no songs. There's a big flag over there. It's just um, different. 
and standards a bit lower as well. The uh, last game we came to was the Charity Shield, where Buddy Ram from Thailand absolutely stuffed Kelan Tan from Malaysia, 7-0. Uh, this guy's getting excited, he's trying to get the crowd going. I'll now have to eat my words. When we came to the last game, the Charity Shield, there was no singing or chanting. Over there, there are some signs for ultras, which you normally associate with um, very extreme Italian fans. And those guys are going great guns. They're singing and chanting and they're really getting the atmosphere going. It's only one small section of the crowd, but they're really doing well. This is brilliant. This is quite an unexpected surprise for me. The banner over there says Ultras Thailand, Unity and Passion. And passion is what it's about. This is what I loved about going to watch football in the UK. You go to see some good football, hopefully, and you're, you want your team to win. But it's also the, the passion of the supporters. It's a, a great feeling that's quite difficult to describe unless you've been to a game. But we're, we're getting it a bit tonight, and it's, uh, yeah, it's great. It's about 25 minutes to kick off, and at the moment, it's looking far better than I expected. Despite the huge crowds outside earlier on, the stadium's not overcrowded. It's pretty full. There's only a few spare seats. And whereas before at the Charity Shore game, there was no singing, no chanting, no atmosphere, there is a good atmosphere here because of these Ultras fans who are singing and chanting. So I'm really looking forward to the match now. looking the better team. We've had a few chances. It's half time and Thailand scored in the last minute of normal time. That's 1-0. There was two minutes of extra time. And the goal was by the number seven, Ekanip, who's been playing out wide on the left. And he's the player that's impressed me most. I think he's played really well and deserved the goal. It's the start of the second half and Thailand are back on the attack straight away. Thailand have definitely looked the better side, so just hopefully they can hang on to this lead. In the event of a draw, there's no extra time. It just goes straight to penalties. We've been really lucky with the weather. There's been no rain. On Friday for the semi-final, it was absolutely torrential. They had to sus suspend the game for quite a long time, and they were trying to clear the surface water. And the Philippines blamed their loss on the weather, but it was the same for both sides. That wasn't in the script. Syria have just equalised. Thailand had a lot of attack in play, and left themselves a bit open at the back. There was a counter-attack, and no defenders and uh, Syria scores, one all.
second half. So 2-1 to Thailand. So they've only got to hang on now for a few minutes to win this game. Well, Thailand have won 2-1 with goals late in the first half and late in the second half. In some ways, a bit of a shame, so I was quite looking forward to a penalty shootout, but a, a good result for Thailand. Security is not a problem. Lots of um, soldiers here tonight. So it was good fun. It was a it was a right result. And it was a, a good fireworks display at the end. And it was a, a really good decision to book a hotel tonight. Uh, the parking wasn't a problem in the hotel car park. And I think if we had to drive home now back to. Had Yai, which is normally less than an hour. I think it would, it would take probably three hours. There's going to be a huge traffic jam getting out of Sun Clark, getting out away from the stadium area. So and we can walk back to the hotel, it's in walking distance. So get, get some sleep, breakfast tomorrow, and then drive home. Breakfast at the hotel didn't get great reviews when I looked online. It's, this is fairly typical for about 90% of Thai hotels. There's a bit of salad and fruit. Oh, there's the uh, Western breakfast over here. Like toast, sausage, ham, eggs. And there's a egg station where they'll do you omelettes. Then the Thai breakfast. My daughter's tucking into. More rice and stuff, uh, bread for toast, and orange juice, and milk, water, coffee and so yeah very um, very standard for a, a Thai hotel. Nothing special but adequate. A quick summary of the Bed Vacation Hotel in Song Kla. It's a big place so there's lots of capacity the location is good, you can see here, and there's lots of restaurants just along the road here. There's a, a bit of a problem with the water. This morning there was no hot water, and a bit later there was no water at all. The breakfast is very ordinary. The water facilities are good, especially for kids, with the swimming pools and the water park. And generally it's quite old, and some areas are really showing their age and they need to do something about it. But um, overall, we've had quite an enjoyable stay. There's another large new hotel just next door called the Solis. And I think this is part of a, a new trend. There are millions of tourists that want to go to Thailand, but they only know of like a handful of places. You know, the old tired places, Phuket, Samui, Pattaya, and all those places are just overcrowded now. So what the Thai government is trying to do is to encourage tourists to go to other places in Thailand, Songkla being one of them. <laughs> 